From top dollar NASA space stations to massive super colliders in Switzerland, here are the most expensive government projects. But first, thanks Rebecca for leaving us this comment. Glad to hear you've been keeping up with our videos. And remember, we upload a new video each and every day. Number 10. Mars Science Laboratory This isn't exactly one specific laboratory, but getting to Mars certainly will not be cheap. This project was launched by NASA in 2011, and they're in charge of designing the Curiosity rover. Their first main achievement was finally sending the Curiosity rover to the Gale Crater in 2012. The launch takes place from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and maybe they'll receive more money until we step foot on Mars. As of right now, they've received $2.5 billion and haven't found any aliens just yet. The Curiosity rover has explored the surface, and it's attempting to determine whether or not there is evidence of past life here. Number 9. The Bay Bridge Considered to be the most expensive bridge ever built, located in San Francisco Bay, this connects the city of Oakland to the city of San Francisco. It also connects to Treasure Island, which helps it span 4 miles long. It's 525 feet high, allowing for large vessels to float underneath. The construction of this iconic bridge started in 2002 and ended in 2012. The design of this structure is quite unique and it keeps in mind that San Francisco is home to quite a few earthquakes. The total cost for this project? About $6.2 billion. Number 8. Skylab Skylab was the first space station used by the United States and NASA from 1973 to 1979. This was one of NASA's more expensive projects and it got quite a bit of use, but for only about six years. Not only did this give astronauts a chance to live in outer space, but it was also used for a large variety of scientific experiments. Much of the experiments were conducted in order to improve conditions for people in outer space, including a zero-gravity shower that we see here. Doing all this certainly wasn't going to come cheap, and the operation was estimated to cost $11 billion. What normally goes up must come down, however, and in July 1979, this scientific experiment fell back to Earth and onto the ocean like they had planned. 77 tons of debris entered the Earth's atmosphere and crashed into Western Australia. Number 7. Large Hadron Super Collider Commonly referred to as CERN, this expensive experiment in Switzerland is dedicated to solving one of Earth's never-ending questions, how was the universe created? So answering a question like this is going to be pretty expensive, as you can probably imagine. It's actually the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, and they're trying to see if it can recreate the Big Bang. Many scientists believe that 13 billion years ago, all matter we know of today was concentrated into tiny particles which began expanding over time after a collision. Scientists here are actually capable of making things travel at the speed of light, which are guided by strong magnetic fields. CERN has made some huge advancements in physics, but many believe they're kind of playing with fire here. An estimated price tag for the funding here is a whopping $13.25 billion, which is roughly a dollar for each year the universe has been around. About 17 countries joined in on the funding as well as donations from private organizations to fund this revolutionary project. Number 6. Big Dig Boston the Big Dig was a massive engineering project that took place in Boston between 1991 and 2007. This includes two huge tunnels and the Leonard P. Zakim Bunker Hill Memorial Bridge over the Charles River. This was the most expensive highway project in the United States and the project was plagued with all kinds of problems that kept it from being finished. Everything from flooding, leaks, poor designs, and ceiling collapses all took place. It turned out that the concrete that was being used was subpar and the contractors were actually being sued because of their sloppy job. It was estimated to cost originally at $2.8 billion, but after all the flaws and bad planning, it ended up costing $14.6 billion. Lighting issues in the tunnels occurred in 2011, costing taxpayers more money, and the Boston Globe openly ridiculed the Big Dig, saying it would cost over $20 billion. Many are really still hesitant to believe their project made their daily commune any easier. Number 5. Missile Defense Systems in the 1980s, Ronald Reagan was looking for any way possible to prevent America from being a victim of a nuclear attack. This was known as the Star Wars Project and included a possible nuclear laser beam being put into space. Not only that, they tested out 747s with laser beams, hoping that it would work against intercontinental ballistic missiles. But it turns out that this idea didn't work since the plane would have to get extremely close to not only the missile, but it would also have to fly along the enemy's border. They also wanted to fit naval ships to fire rocket interceptors, but this would mean changing out the guns, and it began to get pretty overwhelmingly expensive. It's estimated that the Star Wars project costs roughly $17 billion, and there still doesn't seem to be anything that we know of that will work. 
Number 4. International Fusion Station Unlike most of these on this list, the International Fusion Station is actually funded by several governments and not just the US. This includes countries like China, India, Japan, Russia, and South Korea. This is considered to be the most expensive international science project and it's being tested out in southern France. This includes studying the transition of plasma physics in order to produce electricity on a massive level. There is an experimental nuclear reactor here and it uses powerful magnetic fields in order to confine plasma. It's a very complex project which you can imagine and it seems a little bit dangerous and expensive. The construction began in 2013 and the estimated cost so far has been at least 14 billion dollars. But the total cost in about three years is estimated to be worth roughly 20 billion dollars which is a 4 billion dollar increase in budget however if properly researched it could be a prototype for a power plant that creates very limited amounts of radioactive waste number three lockheed c5 galaxy this mega plane called the c5 galaxy is one of the more expensive planes used by the u.s military that you might not know about this one costs 5.6 times more than the average U.S. aircraft and it's also the largest. The United States continued to research on quality transport vehicles which can store tanks or helicopters and eventually this mammoth was created. It actually has room to store two M1 Abram tanks or 15 Humvees. That's some serious cargo. The development was a little bit tricky and as usual, this one costed more than they had planned. 131 of these have been built at a price of roughly $224 million each. That would make this government project total to be worth about $29.3 billion. Number 2. Department of Homeland Security After the attacks on 9-11, President George Bush Jr. decides it's a good idea to create a new Department of Security in order to fight off terrorism. We already got the FBI, National Guard, the CIA, the NSA, but now we need to spend more tax dollars on the Homeland Security. With a budget of roughly $40 billion and 240,000 employees, you can tell there's some people out there getting pretty big salaries. The department was actually blamed for wasting $2 billion on items unrelated to fighting terrorism. Their headquarters alone is a cost of an estimated $4.1 billion. And number 1. The F-35 Possibly the most outrageous and the most expensive military project by the US would be the F-35. The government officials out there want the best and who's going to pay for it? The taxpayers. The planes are cool, don't get me wrong. These fighter planes have stealth capabilities, are fast and sleek. However, it originally was supposed to cost $400 billion, which already seemed a little bit pricey. Each plane is costing around $145 million each. The program has experienced tons of problems and budget issues, and have undergone some serious program reassessments. Top that off with some safety issues, maintenance, and extremely expensive jet fuel, and there's going to be more problems. In the end, it's estimated that the advanced fighter aircraft will cost $1 to $1.5 trillion, according to CSN, since they plan on producing so many of them. What could we have done with that trillion dollars anyways, you might ask? Well, they could give a $4,500 gift to each American citizen, wipe out all student loan debt, pay health insurance for four years to each citizen, or pay the military's annual salary for the next four years. The list goes on and on, and this aircraft hasn't really proven to be worth it so far.